Uh, this is Larry with Rapid Set, and I wanted to show you the progress so far on um, hopefully uh, getting MBS to work for you. Um, so I tried to use all of your existing files and I made a building time but I've made a building to uh, give you as a, an example of you know, how we have um, MBS pretty much working with your set um, just for any, just showing you the pages of one that I've set up already and with MBS in our office, we always, always, always um, start with one default building, which is basically 15 by 24 or, or something like that. But we always start from the same default to make absolutely sure that uh, um, you know things are accidentally added from the last job, or you know who knows what that could be. Um, to, so to give you an example, all the size files and all the all the background files and all the engineering set um, are all working correctly and picking the right parts and and uh, making sure that uh, it all designs correctly uh, from the steel plate layouts and I'll show you how to adjust and and uh, you know add different plates if they're needed. It's not a big deal, and I'm sure you guys already do that from your lock sales on your other jobs. But just to give you an idea, um, because I'm at the point to where I need your help to make sure that the mark number marks are working correctly, and also the next step would be to get to pricing. So, so we need to figure that out how to how to price correctly and how to mark correctly. Um, I'm able to, and I'll show you here in a second. And that warning was just simply for uh, Perlin's hitting uh, um, uh, splice areas, so we'd have to move that a little bit, but I didn't worry about that warning. And I've already ground this ahead of time, so just to give you an example of, um, I worked on your drawings to uh, get the text a lot bigger and you know space it out correctly and make it look decent so that the output uh, would just simply be ready to go and I did a few different frames with uh, one with a column and um, some canopies or overhangs just for uh, a variety of parts that we could number and I also split um, the the assembly erection drawings for framing uh, differently. See how it's on siding here? And I separated the siding and the framing drawings for uh, larger drawings. They just come out a whole lot better to have them individually on separate pages. And I had to do the uh, the wind framing or portal frames. In this case I used portal frames or uh, you know to have the drawings complete. And also to do the drawings and the stress levels on the uh, diagonal bracing and complete with all the assembly drawings so you just need to simply number them and you're ready to go there and then on the shop drawings they take a while to do so I already did um, a bunch of them uh, but just to give you an idea here's your sidewall columns and the numbering working out and then just try to make them look good uh, with all your existing um, marks and logos and whatnot. Uh, then let's go to detailing and you can see here that uh, we're numbered 1 through 63 until it gets to sheeting and then uh, I haven't, you know, we did start from 1 here but I just didn't do anything past that point to where it has all the different marks for the warehouse and for the uh, bracing and bolts and whatnot. But these numbers for each particular part, like let's say G49, transfer all the way through 
GT49. Uh, all the way through the, let me make sure that you can see it. There we go. Uh, GT49 has the part mark and the quantity of four uh, without doing anything. It's all automatic. And then on the assembly drawings, let's find GT. And there it is. GT49, all the way through um, assembly drawings and shop drawings and ship list, all automatic. So anyway, I'll send you this file so you could uh, see what you think. Uh, but my the next, there's two more major steps as opposed to just cons making them clean to where the output is ready to go immediately. Uh, the the one of the next steps would be in the email and basically it's a long list of parts where I need your part mark like sidewall columns would be SC and I've already marked a few of them but I need you to put your marks next to each one of these one of those and then the next one would be to work on DT cost and RF um, RF cost with me so that now that it's all automatic then the output for the uh, pricing would be automatic as well. And so then basically in s all these numbers here, I just put small numbers in to make it work, but that would be a true cost. That would be a true weight. And then over here we could add shipping as a multiplier and then come out with automated forms for uh, quotes. So there you go. Let me know what you think. Thanks.